You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, full mouth reconstruction. We're talking about extreme smile makeovers. Uh, according to my first guest, he says, no matter how bad or your smile is, or how bad your teeth are, or how many teeth you're missing, there's always something that can be done. Uh, and we're talking about full mouth reconstruction today with the Beverly Hills dentist, the go-to guy in, in Southern California when you have a broken down smile and want a beautiful smile, Dr. Parsa Zade. Dr. Zade, welcome to the program. Thank you, thanks for having me. Now, uh, I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible. Okay. Now, full mouth reconstruction. First off, I guess that's a dental term. What does it mean? Full mouth reconstruction is the uh, branch of dentistry that deals with the teeth and an entire arch. Okay. The, you know, when we graduate from dental school, we know how to do single teeth, fillings, crowns, bridges, and this sort of thing. But when it comes time to involve all the teeth, there are many other factors that come into play. The bite is very, very important. And very few people have the training that it takes to deal with the bite when they're involving all the teeth in one arch. And that's what I got the training back in 1999 from World Renowned Face uh, Center. And that's what I'm uh, concentrating my practice on. Now, one of the thing, one of the reasons why I was excited about having you on the show is because you're my first manufacturer on the show. It that means right. you've manufactured your own dental implant, you have patents on it for single tooth implant, things like that, or full mouth restoration. Uh, but like you said, you're able to do it cheaper than anybody else because... Well, I'm the manufacturer. I get them made thousands at a time and it doesn't cost me as much for the hardware. So you pay so, about 80% less for your implants than uh, other dentists. Rough. Definitely, definitely. So you, and you pass that savings on to the... The obviously, patients. obviously, it doesn't take much for me to do the service. So the my patients pay definitely less for the same service as other dentists have to. And even though uh, you're in Beverly Hills, everybody thinks Beverly Hills is the most expensive place. You know, that is so not true about dentistry okay. because at the same token, there are a lot of dentists in Beverly Hills and, you know, the law of supply and demand is there. And really, you know, we do so much of this high-end dentistry that is cheaper for us and it's easier for us to do this high-end dentistry than a person who gets to do a full mouth rehabilitation once in three months or so. Okay, now you have a practice, I guess, where you do everything under one roof. I mean, you do like your own root canals. You, do, you have your own lab. You have lasers. Tell me about this. And you're big on yeah. sedation dentistry. That's right. See. Um, when I started practicing dentistry, I did not take any other hobby. My only hobby was photography, and that's why I take you know these pictures. I didn't take up golf, so I went to classes and learned how to do root canals. I okay. didn't take up uh, tennis, and I went to class and started how to place implants. I did not go hiking and biking and all of that <laughs> stuff, and instead I took classes to learn how to place implants. So my whole life is dentistry. I did not do anything other than dentistry. And of course, when I got married, I was a father and I was a husband, but that's it. I don't have any other hobby. I don't have any other engagement. Uh, this is all you, do. This that's is all all you do. talk about? Like when you go to parties, you're just talking about you got teeth. that right. You, yeah, absolutely. When I talk really? teeth, I find people who can are probably other dentists, and I end up talking teeth. Yes, absolutely. And you know, some people say I don't have a life, and you know, <laughs> I'd say my life is dentistry. So Good. I think I do have a life. I enjoy it, but uh, the time that other people have spent doing other things, I do these different things within dentistry that I enjoy doing, and uh, uh, I've become very good at it after 30 years that I've been doing it. And you believe it. dentistry should be affordable. I like that about you. Definitely, definitely. You know, we still, in spite of all the progress we have made, we see a lot of people walking around without uh, the best smile that they can have. And uh, uh, apart from the fear of going to the dentist, uh, the affordability is what uh, keeps them away from dentists and getting it done. Okay. now. Uh, today's topic, full mouth reconstruction. But before we get into that topic, let's talk a little bit about the implant part of your practice. I guess okay. you work with people wearing dentures. You work with people that are trying to avoid dentures. Tell me about that. Definitely. So it, people who've been wearing denture for a long time, they're, uh, 
in a way used to not be able to bite into say an apple and have the denture still in or have something which is very uh, crunchy or hard to bite and uh, these people can now have uh, you know two to six implants placed in as an option and then have their denture secure in their mouth so that they can chew whatever they want and they don't uh, worry about being embarrassed by I don't know sneezing or you know their denture moving around when, when they're talking to a person. So you don't like dentures? Well dentures are great as opposed to not having any teeth but uh, with what we can do with implants nowadays dentures should be really the last option for patients. And what about people with really bad gums? Are they still candidates? For this? For implants? Yeah. Up, of course, of course, because a lot of things that apply to teeth do not apply to implants. I always say that uh, when uh, people get older and their mouth gets dry, they get a bunch of cavities around their teeth. And the only thing that would survive in these people's mouth are implants. Implants don't get cavities. Similarly, certain gum diseases are very, very limited to teeth. Now, okay. teeth have multiple roots. They're difficult to reach in between them. So when we place implants, we can space them in a way that the patients can clean it. And okay. if some plaque gets underneath them somewhere, they don't decay the tooth. So absolutely. And you know, part of it is the hardware that we use that is superior to the natural teeth uh, in terms of resistance to cavity and gum disease and all that. And another thing, patients who come to us for this kind of work, they've already had their chance and they have basically, for one reason or the other, have ruined it. They don't have their own teeth. They so lost all their teeth. They lost it. So this time around, they are more mature, they are you know, paying good money for these teeth, and they are more open in learning how to take good care of uh, this set of teeth that they're getting. And we see a lot of change, a lot of improvement in patients' hygiene just because they've now gone through this process of getting a new set of teeth and they appreciate it much more than the set God gave them when they were 12 years old. And a lot of them say, oh, if I did it this way when I was 14 years old, I would have. That's right, would have, should have, but they didn't. And okay. they are where they are right now. But what we, what we give them, they appreciate much more and uh, they take better care of it. So you're a dentist. Uh, you think the smile is important. Absolutely. How important is it? Well, smile, as you know, is the first thing people notice in uh, other people. Uh, smile is what determines a person is kind or cruel, happy or unhappy. Uh, smile is what determines if someone is attractive. It's actually the most important nonverbal communication between people. Okay. You know, when somebody smiles at you, you automatically understand that, okay, that person likes you or that person is signaling that, hey, let's like take it to the next level. They're, they're friendly, whatever. Exactly. And the problem is people who have got bad smile or broken teeth, they just don't smile. I had an employee that everyone in the office said she's a grouch. And okay. uh, she, she pouts all the time and she's just not a nice person. And to me, her work was satisfactory, but uh, sure enough, other people were saying that she's not a happy person. It's a grouch. So, yeah. So once as part of their benefit, we said, okay, let's go ahead and examine your mouth and see what's going on. And she said, no, it's okay, doctor, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I said, what do you mean you don't need? Everyone has teeth, everyone needs to get some dental work done. So when we looked at her mouth, poor lady had all these back teeth missing. Okay. She had only front teeth. So therefore, in order not to divulge that sort of defect, she was never smiling. She was always like this. Yeah. to hide those back teeth. Okay. And people's impression was that she's not happy, she's, she's, a, uh, she's a grouch and she's an unkind person. Uh, but the fact was, she was too ashamed of telling people or showing people that she doesn't have back teeth. So there's a lot of people like that? A lot. A lot of people are that they hide their smile. Let me tell you another story. So what did you do for her though? Oh, we immediately got her some implants on this side, implants on this side, and she, she totally changed. She totally changed. And everyone, of course, by then, they realized that she's not an unhappy or a bad person or a cruel person. She just was like this all the time because she did not want to show back teeth. 
So we so gave her some back teeth, teeth with implants. She was a totally different person. Really? She was a totally different person, and you know, it, it, it just totally changed her personality. It totally, totally changed her personality, and that, that, that was amazing. And that was my employee. That was my employee yeah. that for two, three months, three months almost, the first three months she was there, everyone was complaining that why? She's a miserable grouch. She's a miserable grouch, exactly. And now she's happy. Now she's happy as, yeah, happy as a clam. Now she, yeah, she's moved on now, now but. And we were talking on the phone, and you said every week you see complete transformations. Absolutely. In people. That means they come in with bad teeth, now they have great teeth. Let me tell you another story. This young girl, yeah, beautiful young girl, she came and, of course, when she was sitting on my chair, she said, oh, doctor, I don't like this. And there is a type of crown that some third world countries still do. It's called basket crown. Okay. And the reason they call it basket crown is because it has a uh, metal framework around the front teeth. And obviously, it's not fitting very well, so they usually get decayed around it. So she had a basket crown around this one tooth in the front here. Okay. And it was decayed and it was gray. She said, I don't like this. And we did an exam and said, sure, that's an easy fix and we can easily take care of it. And of course, there were a bunch of other stuff going on back of her mouth and I fixed it. And she was happy, she left. She came after two weeks with a big box of chocolate with her mom. Okay. I said, well, thank you. <laughs> the mom tells me that doctor, you gave my daughter a third arm, a third hand. I, what do you mean? I fixed her tooth. I said, no, 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 no. You gave her a third arm. I said, how? A third arm? Third arm, something like that. Okay. I said, how? I said, because my daughter went throughout her life holding her, hiding her smile with one hand. So oh. whatever she did, she did only with one hand. Now, it's as if you have given her a an extra third arm. Uh, an extra arm. Because now she doesn't have to do that anymore. Wow. So this was this young girl that she was going through life with one hand in front of her mouth because she was embarrassed. And now she doesn't have to do this. And the mother is telling me that I gave her an extra arm. And no, she was in tears when so she was talking about it. So there's a lot of people like this. I mean, you're a dentist. When you're walking around, do you, can you tell or spot when somebody hates their teeth or Ashamed of their absolutely, smile? Absolutely, absolutely. Let me show you okay. a photograph. When people don't have nice teeth, let me, for instance, show you this. Look All at right. this. Look, she doesn't even open her eyes for the picture. When she doesn't have a, she's, she's not a happy person. You say, smile, show your teeth. They artificially do this, but she doesn't even look in the camera. Okay. And then when we're done, look, it's a totally different person. Now she opens her eye. Now she's smiling, now she has teeth, and her total persona has changed. So what we did for her was that uh, instead of telling her that we have to take every tooth uh, she has left in her mouth and give her you know, those dentures on implants, we saved a few of her teeth on the lower arch especially, and on the upper arch we gave her some implants. Okay. And uh, she was very relieved to know that uh, she doesn't have to lose all her teeth. And let me tell you, you know, unlike some of these centers that everyone that goes there gets all the teeth pulled and gets teeth on. Because it's a dental philosophy, right? Like certain centers, and correct me if I'm wrong, they believe you could remove the teeth and just give everybody a brand new set of teeth on implants. You say that may not be the, and I'm paraphrasing you a little bit, but that may not be the best way to go. It's absolutely not the best for everyone. Now, some people have to have that. Some okay. people, it really, in all practicality, in all, uh, you know, physiologically, it's the best thing for them. But not everyone is a candidate. I mean, if you're a hammer, everything is a nail to okay. you. And to those centers, I mean, they're not gonna turn away a patient who can't save six of their teeth because, uh, it's the best thing for the patient. The, every patient gets the same treatment. And in my opinion, it's that's more expensive not right. that way, right? It's more expensive. And definitely, definitely, in my opinion, it's not the right thing to do for every patient. Again, I'm saying many patients, that may be the best solution for them, but it's definitely not the best solution for everybody. So you save teeth whenever possible? Whenever possible, we save teeth. I have a bunch of people that. For instance, one arch, yes, we couldn't save anything. We took everything out. The other arch, we have six or seven of their teeth. And we have, And let me tell you something. Okay. The 
We say implants have a lot of advantages over natural teeth and certain advantages they have, but let's face it, we can't replace all the features of natural teeth. It's only the natural teeth that you can really feel the texture of the food and you can okay. tell you know, uh, how the, uh, if what you're eating is crunchy or it's not. So when we're taking every last tooth from a patient's mouth, we are taking that ability to feel the, the table, food, to the feel texture, the food. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I told you initially that yes, the implants are in many ways better than natural teeth, but they're not gonna be natural teeth. There is no way if you can preserve so what say, God gave you. So, and today we're talking about this full mouth reconstruction. Okay. So you may do a, a few implants, maybe a crown, Yes, even if we preserve bridges, five partials. or six, yeah, five or six of their own teeth, or even two of their own teeth, they still retain the ability to feel the food, feel the texture of the food, and then they have implants for uh, other things uh, that they have uh, in their mouth. Okay, good. You have more of these full mouth reconstruction uh, photos. Sure. I mean. Look at this fellow. So this patient comes uh, to us and uh, uh, he wouldn't smile. He wouldn't part his lips. Well, that's, say, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's got to yeah. be very unusual. Yeah, and that's why he wouldn't part his teeth. I said, listen, you're here for us to see and fix this, so it's okay. So he forces, not a smile, but he would part his lips and that's what we see. And I said, okay, I understand. And uh, anyway, we went through the requirements and all that, and uh, we did a full mouth reconstruction for Take him. And in one, two days in a row, actually, it's upper and lower, two days in, uh, in a row while he was sleeping, that's what I did for him. Very nice. And he is happy. When you say time. sleeping, you, meant, you mean like sedation? Yes. IV yes. sedation? Yes, okay. intravenous sedation. It is mild sedation, but most people, they fall asleep. Okay. And so it's not general anesthesia. I'm not doing general anesthesia. Okay. But the, because of the drugs that we use, they are uh, amnestic. So people next day like think- Like amnesia. Yes. Okay. Yes. They, people don't remember the events while they were under influence of the medication. So people the next day think that they were asleep or they were totally out. But no, what I do in the office, it's sedation. Uh, but patients don't remember anything of the day and they're comfortable and oftentimes they just fall asleep uh, because they're comfortable and you know they're relaxed. Okay, good. So for longer procedures like this for in full mouth rehabilitation, we invariably sedate people and, and, and it goes these, very smoothly for With them. these full mouth reconstructions, and I just want to point this out because people are just tuning in, mm -hmm. because you're the implant manufacturer. Yes. Single tooth, things like that. You, you know, you manufacture the materials. So for you, it's cheaper. It's definitely it's more affordable. It's less expensive, you're saying. Well, it's more affordable in our office for two re reasons. When we're using implants, definitely the implants are uh, less expensive and you know, my cost is much less. Also, I do everything else that is needed in the mouth myself under that same roof. Okay, good. You got more photos? Yes. I'm not trying to rush you here, but I know you have a bunch of photos. Yeah. So look at this guy. Okay. This guy, when he came to me, he said throughout his life, he has done everything that he could for his children. And now his children are grown up and he wants to do something for himself. So this guy, his main issue was that he didn't have uh, good teeth in the back. And the few wisdom teeth that he had, they had you know, tilted forward and he wasn't uh, able to chew with them. And as a result, the front teeth, as you see, they're worn down, they're breaking. So his main complaint was that his front teeth are chipping. Now, he realized it and I made it clear for him, the reason his front teeth are chipping is because he doesn't have the back teeth. The back teeth support okay, so that okay. they still come together. So what we did was we placed some of the implants, uh, the implants that I uh, manufactured, uh, on the back of his mouth. And for his front teeth, we did some veneers and crowns. So now the teeth that he has are not going to chip and fracture. And frankly, this picture is from almost 14 years ago, and he still comes to the office for his uh, cleanings, and we have not had to do anything other than the cleanings for him. So for this the is past what's called a years. full mouth reconstruction. This is a full mouth reconstruction, Because it's a yes. combination of things. It's a combination of things, it's uh, implants. It's also, see, when we, when we design the bite properly and give them the proper function, the teeth 
last almost a lifetime. I mean, he's a younger person, but it, this has been 14 years. Nice. And for 14 years, we have not had to do any further dentistry on him. And that's, I think that's what I'm proud of because I can do the kind of work that can last them 15, okay. 20, 25 years without uh, any further work. So typically, a patient like this will be going to a dentist. I go to a well-known so-called cosmetic dentist. They will be sent to an oral surgeon for the implant placements. The oral surgeon may suspect that some of the teeth have you know, questionable gum problems, so they may send them to a periodontist. So uh, by sending them to these other places, not only the expense gets uh, prohibited for the patient, but also the something gets lost in the planning because the communication between- you have like three guys involved. Three guys involved, all three of them are busy. It's not that they're gonna spend two hours conferencing about what to do for you. You know, they put a little note okay. on the paper and send it from one person to the other, and the other person, whatever they understand from that note, they would do. But here, when I do it myself, my office, it's just a communication from one part of my brain to another. So <laughs> nothing will be lost okay. in communication. This is another example of full mouth uh, reconstruction. Uh, okay. Look at this lady here. Look at the before. She is smiling in that picture. She's not showing any teeth, but she is smiling. Why? Because all her teeth are worn down for okay. years of using it. And also the structure of the jaws were such that she wasn't showing much teeth. And at this stage of her life, her children were grown and uh, she wanted to do something nice and she wanted to you know, look prettier than uh, what she was uh, portraying before. So this is a full mouth reconstruction. This is a true full mouth reconstruction in the sense that every tooth in her mouth is still her own, even though later we had to replace one with an implant. But right now, every tooth in her mouth is still the, um, her own teeth. I opened her bite, and now I give her a much better presence of smile. Now, when and I look at the before and after, so those are, are those veneers? What are they? They're crowns. Okay. They're crowns and veneers, combination, depending on... Now, is this tooth. like a technically demanding thing, what you're doing right here? That means that a typical Absolutely. general dentist wouldn't be able to equip to do this? See, typical dentist can put crowns on every tooth in the mouth. But having the bite, for instance, here I've opened the bite. Most of the dentists out there stay away from the bite because they don't have the training okay. to deal with the bite. But I'm very comfortable closing, opening, doing whatever it takes. And for rejuvenation, for making the person look younger, opening the bite always gives a, a more youthful appearance. And also the other features here, you know, as we go through life, we wear our, our teeth and all the teeth will look flat and the same height. So as we do the full mouth uh, rehabilitation, I make sure that the two front teeth are a little longer, the you know, eye teeth are nice, a little more pointy. Nice. So, and then I would give them a nice uh, curvature to follow their uh, lower lip for the smile. So there's a whole combination of uh, features that uh, we can do in full mouth rehabilitation to make uh, the patient look younger and uh, happier. Now, if you're only missing one tooth, why get a dental implant over a bridge? Oh, the, the, nowadays, if someone does a bridge, in my opinion, that's not practice, unless the patient is asking for it. Okay. So Why? Because I mean, bridges have been around forever. Yes, and bridge, first of all, there are uh, statistics that whenever you do a bridge, you're dooming the two adjacent teeth for failure in long term. Because you have to carve down the two you teeth have to on carve, the side. You have to cut down the two adjacent okay. teeth, yes. And you're putting extra load on the two adjacent teeth, so you're inviting all kinds of periodontal issues. And they don't last very long? Is that no, like no, ten they, years, eight years? I mean, they may last eight, ten years, but they are also uh, wearing down the adjacent teeth. Those two adjacent that are carved down, they're compromised. So they what's the solution up, then? The implant. Nowadays, just give them a tooth back with an implant. Give them a tooth back with the implant. Hands down, it's the most superior treatment that there is, and uh, I don't think there's any dentist that would argue with that. So you don't do bridges pretty much anymore? Nope, I have not done a bridge. You just refuse to do a bridge? You walk well, out of the room if they want a bridge? It's cheaper even to do an implant in my office. Okay, so yeah. a single implant's cheaper Single implant cheaper than a, bridge. Than a three unit bridge. So because you're the manufacturer. My manufacturer, and you see, again, it's something that I do so many of them, and in one day I put like five or six implants, okay? Every patient that I have in my office, it's somehow needing an implant or other uh, work. So I do it so quickly, I do it so easily, that it doesn't cost me much effort to do it, so I don't charge much for it. Okay, good, time for one more photo. What else All are we right. looking at? Well, this is another lady who, in her mind, 
she just had one missing tooth. So she wanted one implant for that uh, upper right side. But then when she sat down and I examined all her teeth, I suggested she should get some crowns and veneers on the remaining teeth in addition to the implant that we were going to give her. And she was initially a little bit reluctant, but she went for it. And uh, the result, ever since she came back after the uh, rehabilitation, she kept telling me that everywhere I go, I get compliments on my smile. Everywhere I go, people say how beautiful my smile is. And I think of you, doctor. So That's that nice. was, yeah. So this is a full mouth reconstruction. You, gave her, you only had to give her one implant. Two implants for those two missing teeth. There are two teeth actually, it doesn't show okay. here. But yeah, two, te two implants for those teeth and the rest of them are uh, crowns and veneers. And, and done quickly, like you could do this in one day? Two days, no. Two day, for the crowns and veneers. Just two visits. Two visits. Two visits, that's it. See, that's the beauty, getting it done in my office, because if it needs a root canal, I'll do it that first. I don't have to send the patient somewhere else to get the root canal to get, come back. If the patient needs an extraction, I'm doing the extraction that first visit. So they don't have to go somewhere else to get an extraction. And if it needs an implant, the implant will place that first visit. And this patient had to come like three months later to get the teeth on the implant. But all the restorative work were done in two visits to about three weeks apart. So we are out of time. Final message, somebody watching this, they've heard what you had to say. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about full mouth makeovers, full mouth reconstruction. But for whatever reason, they're watching this and they're still afraid, right? Their well, teeth are breaking down. What do you say to that? I'm saying, what do you have to lose? Come in, let me do an exam. It's free consultation. Let me explain to them what their options are. Okay. And then they can decide. And then we give them a treatment plan and they can go around and get second, third, fourth opinion and uh, see that this is what I would give them would be the best uh, option for the condition they have in their mouth for the best price. And often actually, we have residents in our office for the academy that I'm uh, teaching. Okay. And uh, I jokingly say that, hey, you want an immediate second opinion? Dr. So-and-so is a resident. Doctor, why don't you, what, what do you think? Or we have sometimes two residents. So they get a third opinion right there in, an, uh, in our office from our residents, which all of them have you know, many years of experience, but they're there to learn about implants okay, good. from our academy. Now, we should mention your office, like most offices, Medicare, Medicaid does not cover no. this type of procedure. Even the best dental insurance only covers a very small portion, but people are financing this. Absolutely. You don't carry it, but you have lenders that finance this. Yes. Stuff. Yes, yes. We have worked for, uh, with all the lenders that there are for dentistry and uh, patients. We help them apply for all of those and they can make payments on it, sometimes interest free for an entire year. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it, people would be surprised. I mean, doing, for instance, one or two implants is not going to cost them that much. It's definitely less expensive than getting a bridge done. So, uh, you know, so do, it. Uh, so do it. Yeah, just all come right. in and get it done. All right, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thank really you. Thanks for stuff. having me. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.